Okay, so I'm currently here with the yeah. man of the moment, Vena Tutabarat. Yeah. We're about to train in celebrity fitness. And I'm gonna show Vena and give him an insight into how to train like a pro. So you guys are gonna come along for the ride today and I'm gonna vlog this whole session and put it up on our YouTube channels. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It's gonna be crazy, some pre-activation, warm-up, and then some hit circuits. So I'll make it really relative to foot up. You looking forward to the session, bro? Yes, great Let's go, Van. Okay, so we're here now in Celebrity Fitness. We're about to do a five to 10 minute warm up. Just after we do all of our video promos. <laughs> Always start your sessions with a five to 10 minute warm up, gradually increasing the pace. A 50 to 60% jog, and then finish with a little bit of a quick up run, 70 to 80%. Into our hit session. So we've done three sets already, but I'm gonna film this next set so you guys get a taste up. So, you rest for 30, and then 70-80% of your maximum. As you can see, Van Ad's sweating a lot and we've only done a three sets. This is a really good exercise if you're coming back from injury and you want to get fit quick. And like Van Ad identified, the being fat, this is a really good exercise. So 70-80% of his maximum. The time now is 3.51. Van Ad's going to take his 30 second break on four minutes. So, when you approach that four minutes and rest, you just jump off to the side and let the treadmill keep going. Nice. Good stuff, V. And you will go again. So like I said, guys, it, just to start off, you're gonna be aiming around 10 to 15 of these uh, 70 to 80% sprints. But elite athletes, they're gonna be running for a higher pace or a quicker speed. And they're gonna be aiming for at least at least 15 to 20 plus. But this is Van Aard's first time of the day and he's doing awesome. Like I said to Van Aard as well, when you're running, it's your mindset. Picture running strong, your back nice and straight, you're driving those arms, and you're controlling your breathing, and you're facing forward. Good running technique. So again, Van Aard's got a five minutes, this is his 30 second rest, and he's sweating a lot. How you finding it, V? Good, there you go. High intensity interval training, really good for fat burning. Now we're gonna go into the body weight stuff. Okay guys, so we're here. Venad's currently on his Instagram, yeah. keeping his followers updated. Awesome, so we're about to do a, finish off the second, well, third part of our hip session, which is gonna be a slight circuit today, so. Eight exercises. 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest, and for elite level, you're gonna aim for three to five rounds. Let's do it, man. Let's go. Okay, guys, so this is our hit circuits today. We're gonna be working again for 30 seconds, resting for 30 seconds, and we're gonna aim for three to five rounds at the elite level. But for Venna today, I've adjusted the session because it's his first time, so we're just gonna do two rounds. And the great thing about all of these exercises is that you can adjust them to maybe your training ability and your current performance level. So, throughout these cones now, we're working for 30 seconds. Like I said, we're driving those knees nice and high. We're driving those arms and we're focusing on running forward. We're not looking down at the cones, we're keeping our head up. Like I said, feel free to adjust these exercises so maybe you want to do side to sides in and out. Here we're resting for 30 seconds. Again, usually at the elite level, I would lower the amount of resting time to 10 seconds. So whenever I'm doing these circuits, I'll only rest for 10 seconds between each station and I won't rest for 30 seconds. So I've adjusted the session to suit his current fitness. Here we're just doing a spot station, so really good for speed and agility and fast feet work. Similar to station one, but we're moving pretty in the same direction. So we're going forward, backwards, left, right. 
forwards, backwards, left, right. And you're just gonna repeat this for 30 seconds. You might find that your legs start to ache towards the end of the 30 seconds, but this is good. This is how you should be feeling really towards the end of each station. If you're not aching towards the end of the station, then you're not working hard enough. Have a 30 seconds rest. And use this time wisely guys. Focus on your breathing, focus on what you're gonna do for the next station, the correct technique, and be mindful of each exercise. So exercise three that we're about to go into now is just gonna be a core station. This is a really good pre-activation exercise to do before games. So you wouldn't really perform these at the same intensity before a game, but it's really good for adjusting the body. And like I say, activating the core, which is one of the main muscle for pulling the strings towards all of the other muscles in the body. So really good technique here from Venad for his first time doing this exercise. So he's just bringing that medicine ball down. And I think here the weights that we was working with was roughly two to three kilograms. So you don't want it to be too heavy. It's more about form and technique on this. So you're just bringing the ball down towards the center of your body. And then you're gonna adjust. And make sure you're keeping your legs and your arms straight, guys. Working at a slow tempo. So it's not about the speed, it's more about the form. Which is the same for a lot of these exercises. Okay, so exercise number four now is just dumbbell curls. Again, how I've tailored these, this exercise for Venad's current fitness level. So I think I've given him the eight kilogram dumbbells and I'm working with the 10 kilogram dumbbells. So you're just gonna bring your arms up, make sure you're curling and you're not swinging. So you're keeping your back nice and straight, you focus forward, you're controlling your breaths and you're driving those arms. So here, again, it's not about the speed, you just focus on driving your arms up in a nice tempo. The correct technique from Venad. Really happy to see that uh, he's focusing on his form here and not his speed. When you drop those dumbbells, make sure you're bending those knees and you're keeping that back straight. Posture, really important, guys. So I'm just gonna move the camera now as we're ready to go on to the next station. So this station here is really good rehabilitation exercise. So if you're coming back from an ankle injury or a knee injury, really good for building strength in that keychain from the ankle to the knees towards the up of the body. Then I'd work in with, I think, maybe uh, eight pounds. Uh, Ball and I've got the 20 pound ball, I think. Or maybe Ven has got the 12 pound ball. But you're just rotating that ball around your body, balancing on one leg. Keep that knee slightly bent. And like I say, posture again, keeping that back straight. Good technique. And then, like I say, towards the, the middle of the time, so around 15 seconds, you're just gonna change it from the left leg to the right leg. So this next exercise here is on the trampoline. You will see that me and Venad, we both use two different techniques. So Venad on this has gone for speed. So he's driving his arms and his legs nice and fast. And I've gone for form. So I'm keeping my knees nice and high. A bit more high than Venad and I'm driving those arms. Really good technique from both of us. Two different styles. But again, working on our fitness and stamina. You'll find after these 30 seconds, you're completely burned out. Really, really good exercise. So, you see a lot of uh, Premier League clubs using these exercises on Instagram and YouTube. If you don't have a trampoline available in your gym, it's okay to do high knees and just drive in on the spot. Okay, so this next exercise is, I think, walk eight press-ups. Focus on technique here, guys. It's not about speed. We've rested for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna go straight into it. Here we go. So, you're just gonna walk out on your arms, perform a press up, and then walk back in. Try and keep that back nice and straight, core activated, so make sure you're tensing that core. And you will see in the next station, or the next rain, here, that we add a little jump. If you wanna add some plyometrics, just some explosive jumps, and you can. And even on the next range, you'll see that we also add some explosive press-ups. 
So we find that the press ups were just a little bit easy. So we added a little, a little push in the press ups. I'm working for 30 seconds here. Try and aim for eight to 10 press ups in the 30 seconds. And that's it guys. As you can see, Venad is sweating. I'm sweating. And that's what you need to be doing for every session. If you're not coming out of these sessions, looking like this, you're really not working hard enough. Good work, V. Good job, brother. So this is the end of our second round. So we perform these stations, these eight stations for two rounds. But as you see here, yeah, we just add in a push, press up, just to finish strong. And that's another key ingredient, guys. Always finish strong. So most people, they come towards the end of the exercise and they start to slow down and they start to not give in, give as much effort. And me, towards the end of my sessions and towards the end of each exercise, I like to work even harder. So I finish strong. That's what I mean by finishing strong. Just now on our last few reps, and then we're gonna wrap it up. An amazing session with Dave on Venad. Really proud of his first session. And that's it guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. We just finished another round of that circuit. That's our second one, but we're gonna finish up on that today because it's Venad's first time and I've got football later. So, make sure you guys are aiming for roughly, if you're starting off, maybe two to three. Gradually increase it and aim for three to five. We're finishing now on the treadmills, just on a steady pace. Uh, speed four kilometers, four kilometers an hour. We're just gonna walk, let our uh, blood flow around our body, and this is gonna be our cool length for the session. How did you find the session today, bro? Good? Very good, very nice.